If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the 11 p.m. Blitz offers, the exclusive one hour one, as well as, of course, the 12 p.m. that will be coming out after. Instead of making a separate video, I'm just going to tell you guys all about it, kind of go over my pack review of what I think for that specific drop. So, first and foremost, guys. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you haven't already, go down below if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy or my coin sponsor. Both links will be down below. So if you guys need any of that, head on down below. But yes, let's go into the store. We have a few things to go over here. Another pretty good legend uh, pack here. So we have the 11 p.m. full legend fantasy pack, 92 plus overall. Now, I'm going to go over the pack on the auction block as well as go over what you could potentially get. Now, let's look at the pull rates on this. So we go to the pull rates. 94 overall player is 98 percent so that's actually not bad sorry 68 percent i would say dyslexia but that wasn't even a nine. Oh, i guess a six upside down is a nine anyways 68 percent pretty pretty high i mean that's a pretty high percentage that's almost you know it's almost 70 percent right there pretty high odds of pulling one of the high ones one of the newer ones now i'm not sure what the over what the value of a lot of the 94s are because i know there's gonna be a lot of cheap ones like really cheap ones like the um the Jonathan Vilma. So I know there's gonna be a few that we're gonna have to really check out here and see what you potentially get. But so far, I mean, 20 bucks for a player of that value, depending on the price, could be worth it. Cause you know, you spend 100 bucks on a Legend Fantasy bundle and pull 500k, 600k. You know, sometimes you pull 400k on, the, on a really bad one. And this pack could guarantee you potentially two to 400k potentially. So that does mean for a, a fraction of the price, you're going to be able to get near the output, right? Because you're never really guaranteed a full legend in the other ones. But once you open up a legend fantasy pack to pull a full legend, so if you're guaranteed one at one fifth of the price, it's pretty worth it. I mean, like if you could open up five of these for a hundred bucks, right? You'd probably rather do that because that's like a guaranteed million coins almost, depending, versus a legend fantasy pack. So that's pretty good. And then let's go check out the other ones that we do have. So we have the Blitz. So we have the, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have the Midnight Campus Hero and Veteran Bundle. Now, that's going to be 20 bucks for eight Campus Hero players and a nine, um, a 90 plus overall veteran. Now, that's actually not horrible because, again, 20 bucks for a whole bundle. Now, the Campus Hero pack's probably going to suck. Hopefully, you can put enough pieces together to try to do one of the sets and maybe just sell them. I mean, if you sell everything, if you can get like a... If you're lucky, you're probably going to get like a little bit over 100k out of this pack. It's not great. I mean, it's definitely not the value this one is. But, I mean, if you need the... If you're trying to get some... You know, you have the bits and trying to do all that. It's not horrible, though. I really wouldn't recommend it. And then for the 12 a.m. as well, you have the kickoff fantasy pack. Now there's going to be one ultimate kickoff fantasy pack. And then we have a 12 a.m. as well, a legend fantasy pack and 750 blitz. So for 1500 blitz bits, once again, guys, you can go ahead and do the solos and actually get one of these for pretty much free. You get up to two of them. So that's two legend fantasy packs plus this one. Really good legend fantasy pack day, honestly. A lot of potential here for you guys to pull some pretty good legend pools. So for a total of about 20 bucks. And 1500 blitz bits, which is really cheap as well. You can go ahead and get oh, 3,000 3, blitz bits technically because you have to go ahead and get two of them, right? Um, you can get some pretty good chances at some pretty good legends here. It's pretty good. Then we have the 8 a.m.s, of course, which we go over tomorrow morning. But let's go check the auction block. Let's see the range of outcomes on these because, again, if there's some really cheap legends, there's really a chance to bust there. But let's get into the auction block. So let's start with the 92 plus, obviously, because that's where we're starting at. So luckily, the filter starts at 92. I hate when I do this and they start like a 90, let's say a 90. Uh, 9091 and i'm trying to check a 91 out it's kind of annoying now let's see the legend so let's scroll them down let's see what we're working with here so at the worst case scenario now again these aren't full legends right so you got to go ahead to the full legend Keyshawn andre john sorry 80k so that's a chance you only get 80k out of this for 20 bucks that's actually a really horrible value um so again you really want to make sure you don't be you don't get andre johnson or willie mcginnis who's a 93 still going to be at 90k wow that's crazy but um yeah, guys, I mean, honestly, there's a very high likelihood you bust on this pack. If you really look at the prices here, there's a lot of... It's looking like floor, I'd say about 100K, right? On average, about floor is 100K. Even if you pull one of the better ones, like even if you pull like Mike Vick, you're looking at only 130K. Um, or Keys Pouncey, 135. And let's see if anything higher here. I mean, there's, it's really just not going to be great. Ted Hendricks, 191, give or take. Charles Woodson, 200K. Yeah, I mean... It's not, it's not looking too great for these. You're really going to have to hit a 94 here for you to really get a good profit out of this or a good value, I should say. So for sure, you're pretty much guaranteed if you hit a 92 to 93 to get something in the 100K range, which is not great. And even up to 80K, which is a complete disappointment, like 20 bucks to get 80K. Like that's where, like that's selling a player and getting reduction, right? So on 94s, what's the worst you can What's like the worst thing you do here? You're looking at 146K for Johnson Vilma. So once again, guys, I'm, keep, I'm keeping it 100% honest with you. 
This pack's not the best value. No, it's a fun pack. I'll give you that. It's a fun pack. But today's also Legend Saturday, and we have Fire Fantasy packs, and we have a lot of Legend packs. So the Legend market is extremely saturated, as well as low demand, high supply, you know, the whole deal. So if you do pull one of these guys, it may be better off to wait at least a few days so things settle down to maybe sell them. I mean, it could backfire, but honestly, if you're going to go ahead and do this, Legend players are just not the best players to be selling right now. I mean, Jonathan Vilma, like Garen Blunt, you're all looking at under 200k. Richard Seymour under 200k. You're looking at Luke Keekley just barely capping 200. Roger, Roger Craig is probably your best bet at around 239. Or Keyshawn Johnson at 255. Honestly, yeah, you're not going to be able to hit. You're really not going to be able to hit anything in the 400k range for the most part. You're looking mo more than likely, like I'm keeping 100% honest again, you're probably going to hit in the 100k range. It's just very likely there's 15 to 20 players you could hit on the 92 to 93 that are all going to be under 200k. And then there's like a few more of the 94s, which are the rare pools. So even if you pull a rare one, it's going to be hard. And at the best case scenario, you're looking at around 250k, you know, give or take. So after reduction, 225k for $20 pack is not horrible, but again, that's like the best possible outcome. So if you're looking, if you're like finding things just to buy because you need things to buy, you can go ahead and do it. If you're sitting here like really penny pinch and trying to find a good value, not going to be the best value. I mean, it's going to be a fun pack. It, it, won't, it won't be something that's boring to open. It'll be exciting for the second you do it, but I don't really see a great value here. I mean, Again, you can buy like $50 worth of coins, get a million for 50 bucks versus 20. So again, it's not like, it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely not a great value. Now, of course, in terms of a Legend Fantasy pack right now, like I wouldn't buy the $100 bundle over this technically, because like I said, a hundred bucks. And if even if you pull like a full Legend out of the whole bundle, which is not the easiest thing to do, you're still potentially looking at a guy where you end up just really getting screwed out of a value there. So don't open a full bundle, but this little one could be fun. Um, and then of course we have the veterans, which I do want to go over real quick. So if you pull a 90 plus veteran, out of the campus hero one you're looking at i mean you're not gonna you're not looking at much guys i mean honestly it's not compared to the legends gonna be similar in price on some of them right you can get in the 40k range right here which is literally what those legends the 80k are going for give you know what i mean like in that small end range uh you could pull you know something pretty decent like the map prater i suppose at near 100k then we can of course go up one more overall here and you could hit 75k so in terms of that pack which again is going to be about 20 bucks you're going to be able to get the campus hero packs too but again campus hero is just not going to be a great players so so in my opinion guys the offers are it's an exciting offer it's a cool looking offer it's a cheap offer but you're really not gonna hit big here it's not gonna be like the fire fantasy pack where you're hitting a top ltd or something i mean like more than likely you're not gonna get a lot of coin return on these packs but it could be fun and again it's not like you're breaking bank with an 100 dollars pack but 20 dollars is still 20 bucks right i mean give or take but yeah guys that's about it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed being to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course if you want to check out underdog fantasy head on down below Use the code down below and the link that will get you up to a hundred free dollars to match on your first deposit. So make sure you check that out. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the Blitz Week. And we still have more stuff tomorrow. We have football Sunday tomorrow, so it's gonna be a big day. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.